sorry to bang on about timing. But I'm going to bang on about timing. The whole point, we all, bless our cotton socks in our home life, we can talk for England, all of us. And so there's no difficulty in finding the words. What you get here is to be able to actually hone it. And the reason for the timing is purposeful, whether it's one minute, four minute, or six minutes. It's saying, we know you have the information, now pick out the important things for this particular thing that you're talking about. So I feel very strongly that it's something actually we should take very seriously. And I know uh, we sort of played around tonight, and if you're a newcomer, then it, of course it's acceptable. But I am going to be sort of become a little more uh, serious about it because it is the most vital thing. And as you know, when you give a talk or you've gone to a talk, if someone's given five minutes to speak and they speak for five minutes twenty, you're already thinking about what's for lunch. Mm -hmm. So you lose it and they lose the power of what they're going to say. So let's make a concerted effort that we are going to stick to time. And by the way, if you're in for competitions, the art is to get it to the red light so that you've actually got enough information. Me, I get it to green and then I panic. So I've lost two minutes of valuable time. Try and get it to the red light. Let's, let's see if we can give a little prize of two chocolate biscuits, which is my <laughs> to the person who gets the nearest to the red light when they speak, okay? Yes? Yeah. 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 We have a management meeting at my house, which I can give you the details, to which you are all, uh, in theory, welcome, but it would be nice to know how many will be coming. But if, if, if there are too many, then with pleasure we'll come to the next one, we'll do it in order. But it really is, we love your input. Um, the food is usually brought by everybody, and so we have an enjoyable evening. <clears throat> but really, you can see, you can take part. You can actually say, well, this is what I want for the club. And so you can't complain if you don't join the management meeting that the club goes in directions that you may not value. So please come. You'll be purchasing more details from any of us, really. So just contact us. You'll be very welcome. And you don't have to do the washing up the first time you come on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's next, next Thursday. Uh, it was lovely seeing you. A fortnight's time. <clears throat> Look forward to seeing you. There is the, what is the contest? Uh, the the Please, yeah. division contest. The, the Toastmasters is split up. We've got clubs, areas, divisions, and then district, which is almost like the natural. Then the, there's the world. So we've had our, our, our club contest, we've had the area contest, the next one is our division, which is Division L. Yeah. Mm. L. Division L, and it is going to be at um, London Business School, which is in Regent's Park. Lovely area, easy to get to, it's right near Baker Street near Station. Shops. Okay. Mm -hmm. shop. there's, there's a nice cafe, there's cafes there, and it's on the 15th of October, which is a Saturday, mm -hmm. and that's going to, I think, 1 till 4pm. Yeah. Um, I'll be speaking in the table top of the contest, um, so I'll be representing our club and our area there. And what's really lovely is, is, to, is to have support from the, as oh. Steffi will tell you, mm -hmm. uh, Michael will tell you, and certainly will tell you, that it, the more people that come from the club to support, it makes it A for a, a more interesting meeting, a bit more lively, a lot more energy, and it gives, if you've never been to um, a division contest, you suddenly see the tension yeah. and the competitive spirit ratched up a notch. Ratchet, ratcheted? Ratcheted. ratcheted. Uh, up a notch. And, the, and, the, and you see the standard. And you think the club standard is good, wait till you get to the division. And the, the, comp the contest is really, really gets the adrenaline flow. It's the first time I've done division, as a, uh, certainly in table top. Uh, well, it's the first time I've got to a division in any contest. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So the more people that can come, uh, that's just yeah. Saturday the 15th of October. Does anybody have an interest in coming to support? Sorry, I've got two other things on that day. Two, yes. two. Yeah. So it's between one and four? I reckon it is, yes, yes. Yeah. I'll maybe a Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, we'll take notes. Well, we'll take notes. If you would just let David know, it'd be wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Just, just as an aside, I also belong to another club, which is in a dis different district. Which is, this yeah. is, we're here in District 91, which is um, Southern England and Wales. District 71 is Northern England and Ireland. Mm. 
Mm. And I belong to a club just over the border in near Luton called Cornerstone Communicators, which is an advanced speakers club. And that's for people to join if you've done six speeches in the, communi the communication manual or more. Mm -hmm. And you've already um, joined a club? Oh yes, and you're already, and that's right, to join an advanced club you also, you also have to be a member of a, 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 have a home club. And by no fault of my own, I got through to the next round, the area contest. I actually came second, and I shouldn't have gone through, but the person who came first couldn't make it. So I did, yes. it defaulted to me, which I see as a fantastic opportunity. And in any case, my speech was better than his, and it was <laughs> of course it's That's this Saturday, that's the 8th, of, 8th also, but that's at the David Lloyd Centre in Hatfield. For David Lloyd Centre Hatfield. Hatfield. Yes, that's Hatfield. That's also wonderful. Would you like to just send an email? I will send yeah, an email. Yeah. So if any, again, if anybody would like, I, I, I really, <coughs> I think I really relish the support actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. 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 Uh, well, when, when we had Bill, who was an original member, and he got through to the final the finals of the speaking contest yeah. in the States. We joined him at each level, didn't we? Yeah. And there were about 15 of us, and we out, out yelled everybody, <laughs> but how impressive it was for everyone there, never mind the speaker, Phil, everybody there to see that not only was there a speaker, but the support that they were getting from the club, and say, you're ours. So please, it would be lovely if you were there. And thanks, David. Thank you. Yes. Can you quickly on the clarification I said, Mike mentioned, and that's about the projector. Is there a projector that we can use every week now? Yes. Yes. There is. Okay. <laughs> we need to announce the answer. Do you see my mouth? Yes. yes. Okay. We just have to say. But we're getting to the answer. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Okay. Okay. And, 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 sorry, in the absence of a projector, there's um, um, a um, flip chart on it, like a, a full HD screen monitor, okay. which you can be as if you can. Would anybody like to say anything? We've got about five minutes. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, just on the projector, may I just uh, sum up? Yes. Um, as the treasurer, I'm, uh, as the treasurer, I'm very grateful to the members who have, as requested, lent the club some money so that we can reimburse Tony, who bought the projector on our behalf. Now, I have been led to believe by various people that the number of donations would be equivalent to matching the cost of the projector. Now, while I appreciate that various people have good intentions, I haven't actually had all the money coming in <laughs> so that I can reimburse Tony. So it's not about the amount of money, we're all in different financial circumstances, but if you have offered or you've had that intention, you know, I'd like to give X pounds, then uh, please could you see me and pay, yes. give, please could you see me and uh, pay by whatever method is most convenient for you, and then we can give Tony the full amount to reimburse him for his uh, his kind act in actually going out to, to get that for us on our behalf. Thank you. Thank you. If there's nothing else, I'd like Sandra to just say what she thought of the evening. Well, I know you're becoming a member. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. You can come up here, take the stage. Sure. Come on, give up a big <laughs> Thanks for having me and thanks for this. Yeah. <laughs>